Hey guys, how you doing? It's Job Wise Jones here, finally in San Diego, where I wanted to be for some years. So here I am, apartment's still being filled in, so it's a little bit hollow. Anyway, let's get right into it. You guys know I don't like small talk, okay? Email from John Job Wise Jones. I'm not even a medical assistant, but what are some of the pros and cons to medical assisting? Great question, here we go. Let's start with the bad stuff first, right? The cons, okay? So. The first con you're going to probably come in and run into if you get your first job is the pay. Yes, you know, job wise, Jones does not BS you about stuff. So the pay will seem kind of small at first, agreed. But you guys, most careers out there, the pay is small when you first start. But yes, you guys, that's a true deal. It's a real deal. John, it's a real deal. Your pay will be kind of small, probably in comparison to other careers out there that you see. But like with any career, you stick you stick with it, it's going to be fine. Just stick with it, okay? Number two con, people getting into the MA field, MA studies without really understanding what they're getting into. What do I mean by that? You see all of these programs online talk about you could be an online MA or learn your information from an online platform to being a medical assistant. Wrong. Only way you can do that is if you're going to be a front office medical assistant. And most offices are not going to pay you just to be a front office medical assistant. Most MAs for small offices are doing the hybrid, right? Some of you guys know just what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're doing the front line paperwork, of course, right? Maybe some insurance. Maybe a little bit of coding, but you're also doing the back office stuff too, taking the patient back, getting the history, the stories, uh, maybe doing some procedures with the doctor, maybe some on your own, like injections or blood draws. You're doing everything. The reason why, if you were a doctor, you want to get what? The most value for that employee as you can. So, you guys, if you're doing these online MA programs, check them, okay? Because when they tell you you can do online and get this great... Uh, experience with phlebotomy, great x-ray experience, great EKG experience. You're probably not going to get that experience you want. You might get where they have some kind of partnership with a local office where you can go in there for a couple times, do a blood draw, you know, or things of that nature. So research, research, research. Another, another thing you guys don't understand sometimes, John, when you're, re you're looking around for these MA schools, you're going for it, right? But you're not understanding the small print. You have to look at, is that school accredited, right? You have to get an, a, a, your, your MA education from an accredited school. Uh, it's very important <clears throat> because when you're done, you want to get your CCMA, your certification, right? If you don't come from an accredited school, you can't even take that test. So you have to make sure you ask that over-enthusiastic recruiter, hey, are you guys accredited? Now, if that recruiter runs out the door real quick, has to go somewhere because you were asking the right question, then you know they're not accredited. Make sure that school is accredited. Online, you'll see what an accreditation body looks like, what they require. The school you go to must have those kind of accredit accreditations, okay? So that's a con because a lot of people who are going for the MA schools are getting caught up in this nonsense of going to non-accredited schools are thinking they're going to be the superstar MA with just an online program. They find themselves get into a back office MA situation and boom, they don't do any good. Terrible, right? So be careful of that, okay? Number three, debt. You are going to incur some debt because most people don't have, you know, ten, twelve thousand dollars sitting in their pocket. So you're going to have some school debt. I've got debt. I, I had debt from my MA school. I've got debt from my bachelor's degree. I've got debt from my master's degree. So debt is fine. It's not always a con because you got to understand that for school, right? You're investing in who? You're investing in yourself. So it's an okay debt to have. It's like having a house, you know? Yeah, you're going to be in debt because you don't have three or 400 large sitting in your pocket, but it's a good debt. The best investment you could ever make in life is to make an investment in yourself. So you have a good accredited school, you're going to school, it's, it's an awesome school to go to, you know, good reputation. Maybe they might say ten, eleven thousand dollars $11,000, right? It's a lot of money, yes. But you're investing, you're investing in yourself. But it's truly a con because you're going to come out of school with a debt. 
Number four on the job, because when you become an MA, you're probably going to do some injections. You're also going to do, for sure, some blood draws. A big worry for me, because I read the stats all the time on MAs and nurses in the field, needle sticks. That's a con. You have to be careful of needle sticks, you know? Yeah, you have some really awesome MAs out there who still occasionally make a mistake and they get stuck by a needle. In this day and age, with pathogens everywhere, with all sorts of stuff out there and people, with your patients, you don't know what they carry, right? You got to be careful. So that's a possible con for you too, are the needle sticks. And something people don't talk about, but they need to, is the stress level placed upon medical assistance. Imagine you open that door, your clinic's open, you're taking patients back, taking phone calls, the doctor wants this, the doctor wants that, the patient wants this, the patient wants that, the receptionist wants this, a billing company's calling you, you know, you all these things. And then you have what? Your own private life, right? Say you have a husband, a wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, that's a whole different situation of stress for you as well. And then if you have kids as well, that's a whole nother thing, right? And people don't talk about that for medical assistance. I see it all the time for nurses and doctors. Oh, they're stressed, they're stressed. Yes, they are. But where are the outlets for medical assistance? Why are they not being talked about? Well, JobWise Jones does talk about that because I realize you have that stress. You have to figure out ways, John, if you do this program, ways you're going to find out how to de-stress yourself that doesn't include a bottle or some kind of crazy drug or doing bad things to yourself. You have to find ways to de-stress yourself. That's a serious con as a medical assistant is a high level of stress you're going to be under. Anybody out there who's already a medical assistant, tell me I'm not on it. Tell me, tell me this is a lie, right? I dare you to challenge me on this and that the MA job is not stressful. I want to see one person say that, okay? Because <laughs> I doubt they're going to say that. So that's a con. All right. Those cons are done. I'm not one to sit around and admire myself and know who the bad stuff, right? We know it's there. We got to deal with it. Now let's look at the pros, okay? Job outlook. The MA field is growing by 18 to 20% every year by the year 2031. 18 to 20%. That is strong. That's the top 15% of all careers in America. The MA field is growing. Why? Because you get your bang for your buck with a medical assistant, right? You get a person who could do the job. You, 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 you know, you're, you're getting a person who's enthusiastic about their job. Doctors like to have MAs because honestly, they're affordable. They're more affordable than say a four-year RN, right? And you're getting all of this experience as a medical assistant. So the 20 year, sorry, the 20% growth, 18 to 20% growth for the MA, man, that's impressive. You know, most jobs don't have that kind of growth, you know? Number two pro, the awesome variety of things you can do. EKG, some MAs do x-ray, blood draws, just awesome. You can do things like casting sometimes. I, I did casting as a medical assistant, right? So it's so cool, the variety of things you could do. I mean, you can work, you can do all these things in one clinic if you want, right? If it's all there for you, you can do it and it's so cool. Another pro to this is that you don't have to be like me and go through some four-year institution, do three more years for a master's degree. You can become a medical assistant nine months to 12 months, you know, sometimes longer, but usually nine months is where it starts, you know, and maybe up to, uh, to 12 months for a year. So you don't have to sit there in school for years and years and years because guys, listen up, all right? I have an advanced education. And even I no longer advocate that's necessary to have a good career. It just isn't. We have so many tech schools out there that are, are pushing out people who have these awesome skills, medical assistants, your plumbers, your electricians, your people who fix your cars. They're not going through four years, six years, eight years of school. They don't, you don't need that, right? It's just not necessary. So don't let anybody pressure you into that anymore, okay? Yes, if you want to go that route like I did, Fantastic, but if you don't, it's a great nine month to one year investment in yourself. <laughs> Imagine that, right? You come out in a year, have a great career, and there you go in under a year. That's awesome to me, at least, you know? Certification, that's a pro. You have the option to, to become certified, and most 
clinics want you to be certified. The more certified staff they have, certification, licensure, registration, the more professional that clinic is, right? You want to get that certification because it really tops out the professionalism of you as a medical assistant, you know? So that's a great pro to have. You could say instead of MA, you, you would have on, on, your, on, your, on your, your badge CMA, you know? It speaks volumes, you guys. It speaks volumes, and that's a pro. You'll see on Job Wise Jones videos, I have a lot of videos that get you ready for the CCMA test. I've got a bunch of them, right? You guys know this by now. You're probably tired of hearing my voice. I have so many CCMA videos on there, but they're all for you. And guys, too, at this point here, I want to ask you, please don't just watch this video. Please subscribe to it. Support the channel. My gosh, we are number three for the specific medical assistant videos on the internet. That's a huge deal because I'm a one person show. So <laughs> that's really great, you know? So it's really great. So please support the channel, hit the like if you like it, of course, you know. Um, as always, you guys always send me comments. I love that down below. And also send me some emails too if you like, you guys. It's no problem at all, all right? I will never be a Patreon channel. I don't ask for money. I just want you guys to enjoy the videos and learn something from the videos, right? Okay, <clears throat> let's get right back into it. The really cool thing when I was a medical assistant was a variety of settings, you know? I, I did this, flo I floated for like a year and a half. It was so cool, right? So you could float from like, oh my gosh, rheumatology to cardiology, you know? There, then I went to ophthalmology. Then I got to work this homeless shelter for, oh, that was really cool, for like three months, right? That was interesting you know and then i worked at urgent care it was so cool and then because i was a, C, a cma i couldn't have worked at er as a cma of course but <clears throat> i could do it as an er tech so i went there as an er tech as well using my cma credentials to give me the er tech uh, uh it was okay for me to do that right so that was fun too so what i'm saying to you guys another pro about being a medical assistant is you get to have this awesome variety, you know, internal medicine, even family practice, all these great places you can work as a medical assistant. That's an awesome pro, you know, I just love that. And last thing I want to say for MA is this, you guys. Uh, there were, at one time I had three clinics, all the same uh, brand name, right? But three clinics. And I was afloat for all three clinics. So I traveled, you know, so I, I, I would travel, you know, so two clinics, like two days, one clinic here, then go 50 miles over here to this clinic for three days, you know? And what that got me was exposure to different people, different doctors, you know? It built up my, my references on my resume. I had a strong resume after that because <clears throat> I met so many people in, 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 in the field, you know? So it was really great. And so that's also traveling. Now, some inmates travel further than that, but typically you travel within the umbrella of the, of the company you're with or, or the medical uh, facility you're with, you will travel under their, um, you know, under their requests, of course, you know, right? So John and everybody else, there you go, you guys. Those are the pros and cons of being a medical assistant. Mary did ask me, job-wise, would you do it again? <clears throat> Knowing what you know now, yes, I would do it again. Oh my gosh. The job I have now, I'm a hospital administrator, very heavy, very heavy stress. There's no joke about that. It's a very heavy, stressful job. But I wouldn't have got here if I wasn't a medical assistant first, right? And I was an MA for over six years. It means I enjoyed it, obviously, and I learned so much. I still have friends now who I met as a medical assistant 25 years ago. So it's just been a good ride for me, you guys. And I want you to hop on that awesome MA train and see what it does for you because it's really a great deal, you know? And I, I just think you would really enjoy the whole process, you know? And, and, and uh, oh, last one uh, to Lillian. Lillian has her own day in the life of a medical assistant uh, channel. Um, she wrote to me and says, Job Wise, thank you for never saying nothing bad about the day in the life of MAs. Well, no, why would I say that? It's, to me, it's cool, you know? I mean, <clears throat> I can't do that because I'm not a medical assistant anymore, but I'm always gonna show support for other channels out there. At least I'll say, yes, good job on that. I go to her channel sometimes and give the thumbs up, of course, and hit the like because 
her videos are great, you know? And plus, I can't do that. I'm not an MA. <laughs> so, really, it's fine. That's that's what I do. It's great. No problem at all. I support you guys, you know? You know I'm a different MA channel, but I still support it, you know? So, you guys, there you go. And thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate your time. And have a good day. Any questions, email me. Bye-bye.